The New South Wales government says it is deeply worried about the health of the state's festival scene following the cancellation of this year's Splendour in the Grass Festival. Organisers say they were forced to shelve the festival because of unexpected events, adding to a series of other post-COVID cancellations. Joining me now is the New South Wales Music and Nighttime Economy Minister, John Graham. John, thanks so much for your time. If you haven't been to Splendour in the Grass and this is not really your scene... Um, how would you explain to people how important this is for local economies and also the arts more generally? Well, this is devastating news to hear about this cancellation. Uh, Splendour's been a really important festival, not just for music fans, but it provides an economic boost to this whole region on the north coast of New South Wales. Mm. Uh, but Splendour is really the industry, it's where the music industry gathers. Uh, it's often the festival that sets the... Uh, taste-making for the music industry for the rest of the year. Mm. It happens well ahead of the summer festival season. Uh, so for all those reasons, it's been really important to the music scene in Australia. And to have this news that it will be cancelling this year yeah. is devastating for music fans. It's really hard in Australia as well because you're competing all around the world. You're competing with the European summer uh, in July and some of these acts find coming to Australia being quite onerous because, of course, it is a very long way from Europe where a lot of them come from. So what is your thinking with all of this um, with not just the Splendour and the Grass, but other music festivals attracting gigs to Sydney and more broadly in New South Wales. How much can the government intervene here? What are you willing to do? Yeah, well, firstly, there's no sugarcoating how bad this is for the industry. It will be a setback, not just for Splendour, but for other festivals now worrying about uh, how tough the economic environment is. Uh, we are looking to support the festival industry here in New South Wales. It's a key part of the East Coast touring circuit. Uh, one of the things we're looking to do is change festival regulation here to make it far more supportive of festivals, supportive of, of holding them to cut some of the costs mm. that have been piled on to festival operators in the past. I think that will make a difference, uh, but we have to do far better to support festivals here through this tough moment I think the future is still bright. I think particularly after COVID, uh, people do value that sense of community that you really get as you come together at some of those big festivals, seeing these incredible acts. Mm. Uh, but we've got a lot to do to get these festivals through this tough economic moment. Certainly is. I just quickly want to ask you about an act that many people probably wouldn't have heard of, but, you know, Fred again. Uh, Fred again is a, like the, a Taylor Swift for adults. It's been such a, um, a feverish uh, period over the last couple of weeks. People desperate to get tickets to his shows. What kind of... Uh, th what does uh, an act like Fred again do to the economy? Yeah, well, look, incredible uh, to see the ticket sales rolling in for that act, uh, just selling out... Uh, in a matter of um, minutes and hours, mm. uh, multiple shows. So uh, the enthusiasm there uh, is one of the bright spots at the moment on the scene, a huge economic boost there. We're also yeah. seeing venues bounce back. We've had an 80% increase in venues playing music in New South Wales in just over a year, uh, but festivals are really under pressure and that's rising costs and cost mm. of living. They're being caught in the middle. Certainly, and that is certainly the case. We've been seeing this for quite some time. John Graham, thanks so much for joining us on the program. Didn't think I'd be talking about Fred again ever on AM Agenda, but here we are. I'm happy Thank to you. introduce the audience to him. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much.